In this video, we're going to be looking at reverse percentages. So it'll definitely be a good idea to do the video on percentages first. However, I am going to be doing a little recap on this video too. Okay, so let's have a look at this question. So here we've got a jacket and it's on sale and the sale price is £112. However, we don't know the original price. And in this question, we need to work out what the original price was. Because when I tell my friends how much I bought the jacket for, I'm going to be cheeky and tell them the original price. Who needs to know that I got it on a sale? Okay, so how do we do it? Now, let's think about how they did the sell price. So how did they go from the original price to the sell price? And you might already know how to do that. What we do is we have the price and we times it by a multiplier. And then that gives us the sell price. So it's the price times the multiplier, which gives us the sell price. Now, before we carry on, I want to do a recap on the multiplier. How do you work out that multiplier? Okay, so in each of these cases, I want you to guess what the multiplier would be. Okay, the first one is a 10% increase. So to do a 10% increase on a value, what's the multiplier? Hopefully you said 1.1. And whenever we're increasing, it's going to be one point. The next one is a 25% increase, and the multiplier in that case would be 1.25. The next one's a little bit more tricky. We want a 73.1% increase. So go ahead and guess what that might be. Hopefully you said 1.731. Okay, so now we've got some decreases now. Now with increases, they started off with one point. With decreases, it's going to start off with zero point. Okay, so a 10% decrease. Now, if you think of the original price as 100%, if you do a 10% decrease, you're left with 90% of that original price. That's just a little clue to get that multiplier. And the multiplier is 0 0.9. A 10% decrease requires a multiplier of 0 0.9. Next is a 5% decrease. And the multiplier is 0 0.95. Have a go at the last one. And a 1% decrease has a multiplier of 0 0.99. Okay, now that we've practiced the multipliers, let's go ahead and do this question. So, what did we say? If you want to do a percentage decrease to find the sell price, You'll do the price times the multiplier, which gives the sell price. But of course, we want to go backwards. So how do we go backwards? We've got the sell price and we want to work out the original price. So we need to do the reverse of this scenario here. And this is how you do it. You get your sell price. You don't times by the multiplier, but we divide by the multiplier. And that gives us back the original price. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to do the sell price divided by the multiplier, which gives us back the original price. And if you're good at algebra, it should make total sense. To get the sell price, we times by the multiplier. To go back to the original price, you divide by the multiplier. So in order to get the sell price, what multiplier did they use? Because we need that multiplier. Now it was a 20% decrease. So the multiplier they used was 0 0.8. So we're going to get the sell price, 112, and we're going to divide it by this multiplier. And dividing by this multiplier gives us 140. So if I'm going to be cheeky, I'm going to tell my friends, I bought it for 140 pounds. Okay, there is another way to do this question. And I do want you to look at this because there is certain scenarios where this other method is easier. Okay, so what we do with this other method is we say to ourselves, 
the original price was 100%. So this £112 is what percent? Because remember, it's been reduced by 20%. So if the original price was 100%, this price here, the £112, is 80%. Hope that makes sense. 80% is £112. Because we always tell ourselves the original price was 100%. And we want the original price. So we want to work out what is 100%. So we're going to do a little bit of algebra. Now we know 80% is 112. If we divide both sides by 80, well that 80 will become 1. So dividing both sides by 80, you get 1% equals. And 112 divided by 80 as well is 1.4. Because remember with algebra, if you do something to one side, you must do exactly the same to the other side. Now that we know 1%, we can get that 100%. Just multiply both sides by 100. So if 100% is £140. So we've got the same answer. It's just another method I want you to be used to doing. Okay, so let's have a go at another example. So we've got some trainers here and it's on sale. It's on sale with 30% off. So we're going to use this method. Get the sale price, divide it by the multiplier, and that will give us the original price. So what's the multiplier? How did they decrease this by 30%? Well, it's 0.7 they multiplied by. So that's what we're going to be dividing by here. So we've got the sale price, 49 pounds. We divide it by the multiplier, and that gives us 70 pounds. Okay, so let's look at this chunky question here. I'll give you a moment to read the question. So we've got Sam here who's invested money for two years. After which they had £24,200. And in those two years, their money increased by 10% a year. So we know what they had at the end. After the money increased by 10% for two years. But we want to know what did they originally have? So it's one of those reverse percentage change questions. How do we know it's a reverse percentage change question? Well, the money's been put in, the money's increased, and we have this new amount, 24,200. And we're trying to go back. So the percentage change has already been done. We're just trying to go back. Okay, so to increase it by 10%, what multiply did they use? Hopefully you said 1.1. That's what increases it by 10%. Remember, if you're investing money, your money is increasing. Now, this one does have a power because it was for two years. So it's not just 1.1. It's 1.1 to the power of two because of that two years. So that's the multiplier. So we're going to get this 24,200 and we're dividing it by this multiplier because of course it's reverse percentages. And we get the original amount, it's 20,000 pounds. And there we have it. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing, and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where you'll find your questions answered.